So today's video is all about the infamous social media platform, Tumblr. This is going to be a surface dive of Tumblr's history, and we're also going to talk about the rise, fall, and potential revival of the platform. We're going to talk about how it rose to popularity and why, when did the downfall begin and why, and how did the developers lose the trust of its users and how are they now regaining its users due to some outside factors. Um, so a brief history of Tumblr. The story begins with its founder, David Karp. According to an article by Business Insider, David Karp um, was expelled by the Tumblr log system created by Chris Nukerton in 2005. And according to an archived article of the New York Times titled, Tumblr makes blogging blissfully easy, the Tumblr log system allows users to create a blog in a multimedia format. Karp took this inspiration and created the Tumblr platform in 2007, and it would skyrocket in popularity. Um, the platform would be worth $1 billion in 2010, which would be how much the CEO of Yahoo would purchase it for in 2013, according to an article by Business Insider. Um, according to an article by CNBC, the CEO of Yahoo quoted that she would, quote, not screw it up, end quote, when referring to the platform. It was also reported to have exchanged hands from Yahoo to Verizon and then onto its current owner, um, Automatic, who is also the owner of WordPress in 2019, purchasing the platform for $3 million, which is a huge, huge decline from its initial $1 billion in 2010. According to an article by CNBC, the exchanging of leaders who knew very little about the platform and its lack of room for advertisements um, on the platform led to Tumblr's decline. Um, it's also reported that the app's lack of regulations led to Tumblr's decline. Um, Apple even reported that the platform had a risk for child pornography and that there were many reports of child pornography from the platform itself. And in its response to that, Apple removed the Tumblr app from its stores in 2017. Tumblr responds to this by creating an explicit content ban in 2018, according to an article by CNBC. Um, and according to CNBC, after this ban, the user rate of Tumblr dropped by 30%. Um, its user posts per day went from 84 million in 2014 to just 30 million in 2019, which is a huge, huge decline. Um, however, its current owner um, seems like it has new things in store for the platform. Um, CEO Mullenweg tells The Verge, quote, art is necessary for society, it feeds the soul, it's naturally transgressive, end quote, when referring to Tumblr app and how it should be regulated. Mullenweg also tells The Verge, quote, art pushes boundaries, we need to evolve how Tumblr moderation works to encompass that. It needs to be the best place on the web for art and artists, a place where they can have direct relationship to their audience and people that can follow things, not an algorithm that's trying to arrange you, end quote. Um, this is a in reference to how Tumblr was regulated in the past with its strict regulations from um, newer CEOs like Verizon and Yahoo um, and how um, the regulations of Tumblr and its algorithms will change for its new users. Now this can have some pros and cons um, in response to um, Mullenweg's quote um, in, according to an article by the New York Times published this past January, the um, explicit content ban has been reversed as of this past January. Um, this is a bit concerning considering the platform's reserves in popularity, especially with the younger generation. And you're probably thinking, why does any of this matter? Well, um, according to the data from New Yorker, 48% of active users and 60% of Tumblr's new users are from Generation Z, and no one from Generation Z is above the age of 22, unfortunately. Um, this new trend is caused by possibly one of the largest social media platforms in the world, Twitter. Um, as a lot of people know, Twitter was recently purchased by Elon Musk this past April, and <laughs> his involvement in the platform has caused multiple users to leave the platform, and there have been a lot of rumors sparking up that this was going to lead to the platform's decline. Um, Michelle Catalano tells the New York Times that she had initially left Tumblr in 2009, and Elon Musk's purchase of the app had caused her to delete her Twitter account and move back to Tumblr as of 2022. Um, also, even actor Ryan Reynolds reported his transition from Twitter to Tumblr, um, according to the New York Times, this past year as well. Um, so why does this any, any of this matter when it comes to the new users? Well, a lot of old users are hostile when it comes to the newcomers because they are afraid of um, what the new user will do to the app. They're also afraid that it will bring back a toxic community that Tumblr has experienced in the past. <clears throat> According to a article titled The Secret Lives of Tumblr Teens, published by the News Republic, 
Um, it provides first-hand accounts of some teenagers and how Tumblr impact impacted them in real life, saying that Tumblr ruined their friendships, the anonymity of the app even caused them harm and struggle to form relationships in real life. It also delves into a backstory of one Tumblr user in particular and how their curated digital life um, affected their real relationships and just caused them a lot of issues. Um, also, a really great video by YouTuber Shan Spear titled Social Media's Obsession with Aesthetics and Curated Identities delves into how Tumblr um, creation, Tumblr's creation of so many forums and curated identities caused for a lack of true identity within teenagers um, and the reactions to cultural shifts in the current world. Um, it also shows that the obsession of Tumblr at its height of popularity um, really caused for a dis di disconnection of youth and the real world in it, the early 2010s. However, there are still quite a few positives for the app. Um, according to an article titled Tumblr Youth Subcultures and Media Engagement by Allison McCracken, the platform Tumblr had become an alternative tuition-free classroom, end quote, for cultural and media studies. McCracken also says that Tumblr had become a border source of public interaction for youth today, bonded by common ages and interests. Another article by Olive L. Hampson writes in the article, Tumblr was a trans technology, the meaning, importance, history, and future of trans technologies, um, that Tumblr says a connection network for trans identities and supported the young trans experience. Hampson also wrote that before the explicit content ban, the use of nudity served as a way for, quote, intersectional trans community building, end quote. So it seems there's a lot of pros and cons to Tumblr. Um, now we're gonna talk about how and why users today are going back to Tumblr. Like we said, um, Elon Musk's involvement in the app Twitter is causing a lot of people to plead for Tumblr. Now we can question um, what will happen now. There's not a lot of information on exactly how the app is going to progress. Um, like I said earlier, the, its newer users are now back to 60% um, of his new users are from Generation Z. Um, there aren't a whole lot of reports on Tumblr's current um, user posts, but according to an article by Finances Online, as of November 6th of 2022, um, it has published 12.8 million blog posts daily and 327 million unique visits from users worldwide. Um, that's how the platform is progressing. I'm interested to see how Tumblr as an app will really change today's use. Will it potentially go back to the toxic forms as it was before? Will the lack of regulation cause a resurgence um, in platforms? I think a lot of younger generations might run wild with the lack of regulations on the platform. Or will it become a new community and new way of self-expression as McCracken has said that that app served as before. Um, so there's a lot of hope to see the future of this app and its history.